Ed Sheeran has revealed that Paul McCartney is a Hollyoaks fan. The singer said how the former Beatle confessed his liking for the Channel 4 soap at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee concert in 2012, where both were playing. Ed says, What's mad is that Paul McCartney saw me on Hollyoaks. My generation watch it but the first time I met him he said, Man, I saw you on Hollyoaks. I was like, when do you watch Hollyoaks? But yes, he watches Hollyoaks. It's thought Sir Paul may have been referring to the time Ed performed on the Hollyoaks music show in 2011 when Axe played on the set. Meanwhile, Ed said this week how he was pained to see his James Bond theme song shelved for Billie Eilish's hit No Time To Die. He said, they changed directors and that was it. We had done all the meetings, I started writing it. When asked if he would still be willing to sing a Bond tune, he added, I'm not going to pretend it didn't hurt not doing it but, yeah, I would. I think as an English singer you've got to eventually do a Bond song. Besides wanting to perform a Bond song, the singer added he would maybe record his own sports anthem like Frank Skinner, David Baddiel and the Lightning Seeds Three Lions. We've discussed it lots of times, he said on that Peter Crouch podcast. I think I've been asked to do the rugby one, the cricket. I've definitely been asked. Ed has plenty to distract him from the Bond brush off, as has set to launch his own ultra strong Factor 50 sun cream, he told Peter. He said he wants to launch the product for fun, and some extra pocket money, explaining, you would buy sun cream if my face was on it, because you'd be like, he definitely knows what he's talking about. If you were going to a hot country and you needed Factor 70, it is common for pop stars to move into skincare products, with Victoria Beckham and JLo launching their own beauty ranges, and many perfumes on the market. Ed's ex-girlfriend Ellie Golding co-owns a range of alcoholic seltzer, and Louis Capaldi has a line of frozen pizzas. The Charlatans Tim Burgess released some breakfast cereal with Kellogg's in 2012, and in 2010 JLS released a range of condoms. Ed has another idea for a lucrative product launch, suggesting a line of ginger beer. During the chat, he also revealed he has installed touch screens to show the football league tables under TVs in the pub he owns on his estate in Suffolk. He also bought a neon Ipswich Town sign to hang in his bar, after becoming the club's shirt sponsor.